Hi, welcome to the video on OS fingerprinting. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Python to determine the operating system of your target hosts, or aka OS fingerprinting. Why do we want to do that? I think it's pretty obvious for the audience that the set of tools I will use to take advantage of the vulnerability of a, a target that is running Windows is very different than if the target is running Linux or Mac OS. Therefore, the first step is usually to determine what kind of operating system your target host is running. And how do we do that? We're looking for patterns. The operating system implements the TCP IP stack a little bit different between them. Therefore, if you could notice the differences in say TTL or window size or maximum segment size, anytime you could look at those attributes from the TCP IP stack and determine a pattern, then you could derive a reasonable conclusion of what kind of operating system your target host is running. So there are two ways to do it. One is that you could actively probe. If you know your target is running a web server or SSH server, then you could actively probe it. And then on the response, you could look at the patterns that we mentioned before, or you could passively listen, run a Wireshark or Sniffer in order to just passively glean through all the packets that traverse through and derive a pattern that way. So as you could tell by now that the physical parameter protection is extremely important. If you allow a host to be able to sniff the traffic, there's a lot that could go wrong in that instance. So if you're in a position to justify the cost to, to you know, either the security posture for protecting VLAN, you know, putting unused ports in the VLAN, or, you know, just adding extra card readers to your rack, you could demonstrate how easy it is to use Python to do your OS fingerprinting in order to justify those costs. So here's a bit of an overview on just the differences in IP initial TTL to the TCP window size between the different OSs, including the Cisco router. And therefore, you know, if you catch these patterns, then you're able to make an educated guess of what your target OS is. So let's look at a demonstration. The two most popular tools for OS fingerprinting is our Nmap and P0F. And I actually don't know if people pronounce P0F a little bit different. So I'm just going to basically spell it out. So Nmap is used to actively probe the remote host while the P0F is a tool that's used to passively glean and or derive the OS fingerprint from a passively gleaning file, such as your sniffer or your Wireshark. So you could, those two commands actually install the two tools and you could actually just launch Nmap from the command line. So let's look at an example. I'm using the dash O option, also the dash V to have a more verbose output. I'm going to stop this real quick and just show you the result because it's actually going to take a little bit longer. So as you can see, this is the output that you will get, the same output that we ran before, and it's going to start the Nmap and it's going to go through the open ports and so on. And at the end, you will go ahead and determine that this is a Linux uh, with kernel 3.10 or, you know, 3.x kernel. So in order for us to use these two tools with Python, if you think about the last section, that you could just actually use the OS module and just launch it that way. Import OS, os.system, and we could simply just put in the command that we've used before and run it from there. And that's why I make that tool, the OS module, so powerful. It's because it opens up the gateway to all the underlying tools that it's available to you in the OS. What we could also do is we could also use this tool called Scappy that has a abstraction layer within Python. So you basically clone the Scappy repository and you go ahead and install it. All right, great. Now that we've installed Scappy, let's look at how we could launch the program interactive shell. So notice that for Python 3, it's Scappy 3K. If you used it before, you know, originally it was just Scappy. So for Python 3, you want to use Python 3K. And if you do an LSC, you can see the capability right off the bat from just the installation. And in order to use the modules for Nmap and P0F, you need to be able to load the Nmap module as well as P0F. And if you do the capability showing again, now you'll see the additional Nmap 
FP, search for fingerprinting, as well as the P0F, the passive OS fingerprinting. And in order to launch this, you want to make sure you have the database that is loaded. And by the way, in order for the Scappy just a wrapper around these two tools. So in order for you to use Scappy, you do need to install Nmap and P0F first, like we've done before. And you could go ahead and use the sniff to do the passive fingerprinting as well as using the Nmap FP for, I'm just going to use the local host for actively probing. And as you could see right here, this actually aired out. And this type of error usually points to a difference between Python 2 to Python 3, where it's treating the string as a, a bytecode object or whatnot. So hopefully by the time you see this video, this would have been fixed. But let me stop the video real quick and show you what should be output. So as you can see on the screen, the output, what you should, should have seen is this MAP FP, and then you will give you the, the best guesstimate that it has on the destination host, as well as your sniff and using the P0F for guessing what the destination operating system is. So in this video, we actually saw how do we use the Python packages in order to determine the operating system of your target because that is usually the first step in launching an attack and it also demonstrate the importance of having a physical security as well as some of the other security postures that you should take. And Python is a great tool to be able to use and think like an attacker. In the next video, let's talk about how you could create your own attacks.